Good morning, everyone. This is Brandon Land, candidate for Irvine Mayor. I wanted to go over what transpired at yesterday's Great Park Board meeting. The board voted four to one to move forward on the USA Water Polo Facility as well as the permanent Live Nation Amphitheater. Now, it is the job of a city council member as well as a Great Park Board member to not only gauge public interest, and there's a lot of public interest and a need for another aquatic center and live music. However, we also need to understand the costs. The cost for the USA Water Polo Facility was estimated at 50 to $80 million, and the Live Nation Amphitheater was estimated at $130 million. But again, these numbers were just rough estimates. There are a lot of details missing, and we still don't know how, at the end of the day, the city of Irvine is going to pay for all these things. City council members need to make sure that they protect Irvine taxpayers. It is their fiduciary duty to make sure that the numbers make sense for us in the long run, um, that we're able to pay for all these. And in light of the Orange County Power Authority, which is being audited, and we still don't know the viability, even though it was completely funded by Irvine taxpayers for all the startup costs, as well as the $35 million line of credit loan, we need to make sure that we're making decisions that are fiscally responsible. And what transpired last night was irresponsible. Um, I wanna make sure that going forward, everybody in the Great Park neighborhoods, as well as the rest of the city, that they are aware of these big decisions before they're made. All the council members have social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter accounts, yet nobody posted anything other than I believe one, perhaps two, um, about this vote taking place yesterday. We need to make sure that there's an increase in transparency, an increase in public participation, and from the especially from the communities that are the greatest stakeholders that live nearby that are gonna be impacted by the traffic, the noise, and the public safety concerns. And we need to make sure also that we strengthen our recusal policy. What I think is important to look into is whether or not any of our city council members received campaign contributions from the state from any of the stakeholders that had their plans up for approval last night. Um, those are two things I would like to bring forward, strengthening transparency, making sure that everybody knows what's happening in the city, as well as strengthening our recusal policy. Thanks, everyone.